Hi everyone, it's Jenea, and today I wanted to do a flip through of this junk journal that I made. Um, I was inspired to make this one by Soleil at Enchanted by Craft. Um, she had used a paper pad cover to make a junk journal, and I decided to do the same, but instead of a 6x8, I used a 12x12 12 12 pad, and I just cut it down, and then I did stitching around each of the squares. And that's the cover and the back. And I just have this around it because it's pretty a pretty fluffy journal. So um, that just helps keep it closed. And on the spine here, I just put some rickrack there. And then this is some vintage fabric that I had and it was just plain. So I did paint on that a little bit, and I did a sequin spine, and then I also have a chunky charm that I made here, sorry, trying to get those adjusted, there we go, just a bunch of bows there. And I will just do a flip through. Uh, this journal is pretty full, but uh, here is the first part. There's a library pocket, and I put some pom-pom trim um, just on the opening part here and on the bottom. And I use some ephemera from the Carousel Collection. All of this is using the Carousel Collection by Maggie Holmes. And um, I just put another piece of ephemera there, and there's the library card as well. And I just did some distressing around the edges. And here is another piece of ephemera. This one's on some 110-pound uh, cardstock. And I put an eyelet and just used some Baker twine and put a little bow on top. And there are lots of different ruffle trims. Tag and some ephemera. In this page, I just kind of sewed, I sewed them like Franken pages, but it's all different um, writing pages. So just standard line, uh, college ruled paper, some graph paper, and then some other lined paper. And I've added some ruffle trims, and these are both from vintage, actually vintage pillowcases. Um, this one was just really plain, so I, on some of it, I didn't do any painting, and on other pieces I did. And then I thought this went perfectly with um, one of the Maggie Holmes papers, which I believe there's a cutout of, so I added some of that. And then here's an envelope. And in the envelope, I have this little book that I made. Um, it's one of the ones inspired by Tennille at Paper Milkshake. Um, it's a little different than hers, uh, but I just put Rick Rack on the back. Then I did this. So I thought whoever ends up with this journal would be able to put pictures, and it says date night. So if it's a person who has a spouse, they could use this as like a place to put date night pictures in journal and on the back I used Rick Rack to uh, make the accordion fold. I'll put that back later and then I just have a little paper clip with a tassel on it here, a doily and this is just a cutout from the carousel collection and here I made a belly band with one of the cut aparts from the carousel collection and I just I backed this with 110 pound cardstock so that whoever ends up with this journal is able to um, journal on the back of these so I wanted to make this journal have as many places to actually journal on it as possible which is why I didn't do too much decorating in it um, 
but I did add lots of tuck spots and fun little places to journal. And this paper is all paper that I used a light acrylic wash and I kind of dyed or painted the paper that way. And another cut apart. In the doilies, I use some Distress Spray. And then here I have, I just made a little booklet, just another place where whoever ends up with this journal can, um, can journal. And just a little cut apart there and a paper clip I made. And then here I added a little paper clip I made using some of that vintage fabric. I made a bow. And there's a cut apart that's backed with cardstock there. And here um, is just a small clothespin with a button on it. And I've added some little cut aparts there. And here is a tag. I put some long rick rack on there. And it flips out like that. That's just a clear little pocket there. And some more ruffle. Lots of ruffles in this journal. And this one has a flip out and just some ephem ephemera in there. And this is an envelope and it has a Velcro closure and a guest check and a piece of ephemera is in there. Another little tuck spot. I tried to make lots of tuck spots for this one too. And another paper clip I made using some fabric and I made a bow. And another cut apart. And the journal itself does lay flat. Um, also forgot to mention that and here are some pockets I've made and in this pocket I have actually a clear pocket that I backed with some of the carousel paper and I added tickets in that pocket and I just put it in here and then here is another little notebook I made for journaling it's just plain lined paper, and I did a little decorating on it. And then I cut apart, and the cut aparts spell love this day. And a pom pom paper clip, cut apart. And some cut aparts in a glassy bag. I only glued down the three edges so that it was a second pocket there. Cut apart. Glassy bag with a little tag. Um, use some Rick Rack for that one. And I got this from Dee Dee. Uh, she's just make something on Instagram. She sent this to me. A little punch card. My son is playing right next to me if you hear noise. And then here I um, have this bead that I made. And I dangled this little, looks like a heart wand. Um, it's just on a paper clip there. And another Velcro sealed envelope just stuffed with some different ephemera from the carousel collection. Another cut apart. And I really love this one. I took out my fuse tool and used that and I had these um, pockets from Target, but they're the long ones. So I took these Polaroid pictures, stitched around them, 
they're from the cut aparts and carousel and just made two separate shakers and I attached some paper from the collection on back just so then it's a little bookmark another cut apart tucked there Some more pockets with cut aparts from the collection and almost all of the cut aparts from the collection I did back with 110 pound cardstock just so it's a good spot to journal or put pictures and there is another bow with the vintage fabric that I put on a paper clip. And here's a glassine bag, just a little tag. And this one has a flip out. And this one is a paper clip just with a bit of the uh, vintage pillowcase fabric. And here's a guest check. These are from Dee Dee as well. And here is a little envelope and I just have another one of those lined paper small journal. I wanted this to be a place um, where whoever receives this could really have a lot of places to journal or decorate how they want. And this is a bag that I just put this um, cut apart on. It says on top of the world. Another little cut apart and some cut aparts with another mini clothespin with a button on it. Some more trim. Another guest check. And I am hoping to sell this journal. Um, I'm still debating on pricing. But uh, there's a paper clip that I made with a bow I got from AliExpress, I believe. And some cut aparts. Now these two aren't backed on cardstock. And these ones are, I actually took some paper from the collection and did some embossing with some Tim Holtz um, embossing folders. And here is the paper that I thought it goes really well with that pillowcase. And it says today was magic. Another guest check, another mini clothespin with a button on it, and some cut aparts attached there. And then on the back here is a bulldog clip with some ribbon on it. And I have one of my um, sewn ribbon rosettes here. I did this one a little different. I used just a rosette and I did the ribbon myself. And I like the way that one turned out. And then in back here, um, there's just a little pocket, and I just have some cut aparts there. So, yeah, that is the journal. And um, thank you so much for watching. This was fun to make. I will definitely be making um, more, hopefully, a lot more. And um, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm also just Jenea there. And I will be, when I decide what I want to price this at, I will hopefully be listing there first. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're all staying safe and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.